Hey guys, it's Admiral FX right here. So today I want to make a quick review on the new trading view platform, on the updates on the new trading view platform. So please do well to watch to the end of this video to see um, what the new uh, uh, platform and the new update is all about. There are some good updates and there are some few challenges that we have we now have from the updates too which i'm going to highlight on this video like how to save uh, how to save your files because for now we can't save files anymore and now we are seeing gaps and also to let you know too that on the volatility indices indices or the synthetic indices now can't be traded on trading view 247 it doesn't trade 247 and seven days in a week anymore yeah, they now take break off from uh, on saturdays too so i'm going to highlight all this in the video for you guys to have more knowledge about um how the new trading view works and and how to go about those few challenges that you may have along the line so without further ado let's go down to the um, business of the day so to visit the new trading view for volatility indices so you just type um, go to your web browser type in trading view okay trading trading view dot derive I already have it on my PC if you look up there you can see it trading view dot PC dot derive dot com and it's going to pop up it like so and voila this is how the website looks like okay as you can see this is a derive trading view just like the normal trading view you have on currency pace it now looks like more like that of currency pace and uh, than before you now see your tools here although the tools has always been there from the onset but there are some new innovations like you can now highlight the tools hide drawing and this signs here all the signs now you can now have them you can use them in your drawings all this and even the trading view logo now showing at the um, uh, the lower corner here the lower right hand corner uh, sorry left hand corner here you can also show favorite favorite drawing tools here we now have icons we now have subject trees uh, actually the new update is kind of nice but i think uh, the challenges you now having are more than the advantages for now uh, but i hope since they are still working on it since it's an update they are still working on it and they might do something valuable out of it as for now starting with the uh, gaps now you can see we now have gaps we now have gaps on trading view which on synthetic indices which we did not used to have gaps let me circle to show you guys these are gaps these are gaps these are gaps if you can remember or if you have been trading synthetic indices for a pretty long time you won't you will notice that you don't used to have gaps on synthetic indices and this this is v25 you find this on every other pay okay find this on every other page there are gaps everywhere these are gaps these are gaps initially we don't used to have gaps they are not used to okay that's not a gap they are not used to gaps on synthetic indices so this is kind of an update that we are not really used to on synthetic indices those are gaps okay so now we are trading gaps and another thing too um is about how we can save our drawings how we can save our drawings drawings our drawings can't uh, be saved like all these things now that i've drawn okay let's make a drawing let's just do a rough drawing like a trend line okay drawings now we can save drawings like before like we used to so if it's before on doing this after doing all these drawings in worst case scenario at the top right hand corner here this corner here uh, this 
corner here that corner here you'll be able to see save but what you now have is chat properties full and taking screenshots okay we can't find save here this save chat is chat image you're seeing you can only save the chat image like so and just save it to your pc put in a name and save it to your pc and it's going to save that's the only way you can now save images but you can save drawings and come back to your chat and see those drawings like before okay let's let me just show you guys like now we are done with all this you can even lock it from here let's lock this let's lock the drawing from here okay then let's just reload the page and see if all these drawings will still remain okay you see it's even taking us back to our initial page of v25 let's go back to the v10 which we did all those drawings you see we are now back to v10 you can't find our drawings so this this is a very big challenge this is a very big challenge for us it's not just on v10 any pay that you may want to check same thing same issue you still have gaps you still have gaps on this space which we are not used to still have gaps still have gaps I'm not used to gaps on synthetic indices so I don't know why they should be bringing in gaps here on synthetic indices so let's still do some drawings okay let's draw like more like a trend line let's just draw anything on random and see if it's going to let's see if it's going to save okay now uh, let's lock it too and see if the drawing is going to save let's reload okay like before you could just make all those drawings as such and reload them and reload them and you still find your drawings but now you see all the drawings we did even going to a one hour time frame we can't find those drawings anymore see we can't find those drawings so this is quite a bit of a challenge for us because even initially for some cases that it doesn't want to save you can just go to the top right hand corner here and look out for save and just click on save and it's going to save but now it doesn't work anymore the only way you can save your chart is by after making all your drawings by after making all your drawings you have to click on the save chart or the save image here and save it as a folder to your system but when once you come back to the website you can't find them anymore so which is a great challenge and another thing which is a very new innovation which we are not also used to is synthetic indices doesn't trade 247 anymore as before if you check here at the top left hand corner here where you have this where you have this uh where you have this circle there that green icon there if you click on it okay you see now we have like what's the time here 10 p.m which i'm making this video you see now we have like 55 minutes more to go for the market to close which this did not used to happen initially on synthetic indices synthetic indices we know for those that have been trading to synthetic indices for years synthetic indices has been ru running 247 okay has been running 247 and seven days in a week so so if you click here for the symbols and scroll down if you click here and scroll down the you see here on saturdays okay mondays are open 10 pm to 9 pm and saturday and saturdays are closed okay so that means on saturdays is a break day for the platform you can't make use of the platform on saturdays or the live chats won't be working on saturdays it will only work on weekdays and resume on on sunday so these are like the few challenges we have been having so i just hope um derif is seeing this and they can amend something they can do something towards this because we is really challenging and we are not used to all these gaps not being able to save our, our drawings or our analysis 
and coming back to meet there then for the market being closed on saturdays because for someone like me i do like i, I like doing my analysis during the weekend between saturdays and sundays i analyze what i'll be looking forward for for the next uh, market session the next week ahead then i i know which pace i should be trading on my watch list so actually this is the challenge i'll be having and uh, i hope they do something about it in the soonest time possible so we could continue using their platform but um above that every other thing looks cool and nice so that's uh, that's the review we got for you guys so this uh, let's just see what David is going to do on the long run please do well to like share and subscribe to this channel if you find this information educative and you want us turn on the notification bell if you want to continue to get uh, free educational forex contents like this on this platform if you want to subscribe and and like and uh, drop a comment too on the comment section on on probably any other challenge you have on the platform let's see if we are facing we all are facing the same issues or any other um, videos you love us to create on the currency pay or trading platform so that's all for today once again it's your boy at fx see you guys on the other side ciao